Okay, here's a special little treat. I've got myself a HGLRC F4 V5 Pro. All in one board. Now this thing has Betaflight OSD, um, large current sensor, all that sort of gizmos. We got, let's have a closer look at this. Well, that's a damn good case. All right, now in the box, get the nice, very neat flight controller. It's a 40 by 40, standard size, with a little bit of extrusions on the four sides, USB on the other. Comes with an, a shunted XT60 connector, which is quite good. Soldering straight onto there. A buzzer and your RPSMA cable. Now, let's have a look at the flight controller itself. It is an F4. It's a ARM2 STM32 F405 by GT6. I don't know what that means. I know, I know what the F405 means. Now, here are the connections for the ESCs. So there's the signals as well, little ones. There's the boot button. It's very tiny and does not need much pressure. So don't go pushing it down expecting a massive click. VTX is a 40 channel with race band. Nice little 4 pole snap on connector there. Works quite well. Also onboard 5 volt. BEC. I'm pretty sure it's a buck converter piece, VEC, it's not non-linear. It's a switching type. Uh, here on the back, on the side of the board, there we have the TX unit, the VTX. Here are the connections. Now on this side, you've got... Now this board doesn't come with any instructions whatsoever, but it's fairly clearly labeled, which is great. And the layout is so neat. Everything is just laid out nicely. Easy to follow. So on this side here we have DSM 3 volt and ground. Or if you're running Tyrannus or PPM, some, some other shit, you have 5 volt, PPM or SBUS. Now over here we have LED 5 volt and ground. That's for your uh, LED controller. And then the video 3 volt and ground. So that's, that's for your camera. And TX1, RX1. On the other side, we have buzzer plus, buzzer minus, TX3, RX3, TX6, RX6, S6, I'm not sure what S6 is, and RSSI at the bottom. Now I assume that USB would be TX2 and BTX telemetry stuff would be TX4 and 5. And we got the solder pads underneath as well, which is very nice. All in all, very happy with this board. So let's see the weight. The board on its own. Ooh, 13, 14 grams, let's say 13.5 grams. Now let's throw everything else on there as well. Okay, everything in the box comes to 27 grams. So overall, it's quite great. So this is the little sucker I'll be using, and uh, I'm not sure if I should do a instruction video for it. But you don't need to see me soldering onto this. Um, plugged it into Betaflight, checks out all good. I don't know what to flash it with, so I haven't flashed it with the newest firmware. So I've just left it as is. Betaflight OSD works fucking great. Alright, back to the build.